Look, would you close the door? Sharon Horn Elstrom here. Welcome to day 1,311 of What You Up To Now. Documenting the journey as I transitioned from originally the brick and mortar corporate world of business to the online business. And then in 2020, a crazy chaotic year that that was, and 2021, a little bit back into the offline world. Working a lot with uh, offline businesses in, of course, 2020 and 2021, and well, prior to that as well, to create an online presence and it became critical it became mission critical for every business to have an online presence in 2020 if you were squeaking by and not having one and, and I'm guilty of that in uh, my past business I had a Italian food manufacturing business for over 35 years and in that we were not really online I think we had a Facebook page that we never went to uh, which would, wouldn't even count for social media and once in a while we sold on different uh, platforms dabbled a little bit but never really had an online presence at all never had a website never had uh, anything like that for the business because we were 100% business to business sales and word of mouth and had established a good business after 35 years and didn't need to have an online presence although I'm sure it would have helped to supersize and grow that business significantly uh, so that's the purpose of this is just to share what I'm learning as I figure out the online world what's working what doesn't work good the bad the ugly everything in between always welcome to ask you're always welcome to ask and say hey have you ever done this I'm struggling with that you know I've done 1300 over 1300 videos about this journey so in there somewhere I've probably talked about it but that's a lot of stuff to have to dig through and I don't want you to have to dig through it so just ask it's a lot quicker and easier to ask and asking the question helps other people too because then they get the answer to the question and chances are if you have the question there's probably a hundred thousand other people on the planet they have the exact same question so what am I doing get up and go challenge finished up yesterday the eighth free 30 plus day get up and go challenge which was kind of my response to the pandemic what are you gonna do well we got to keep getting up and going and figuring out what we're gonna do even though everything changed in a very very short amount of time it's kind of like getting a, um, a health diagnosis or some kind of a diagnosis and finding out that you've got a major health challenge or you've got something going on uh, you have to change almost instantly you have to make up your mind and do things differently and think differently and see things differently almost immediately in order to deal with that particular challenge or change that happens in your life and so that's what the whole get up and go challenge is about it's about teaching folks including myself and reinforcing for myself something called the soap framework so AP which stands for story options action and progress which isn't none of them are big words none of them are hard to define none of them are hard to understand but just because we know what a me word means and what a word means to us doesn't mean we are applying it and using it in our life think of the words uh, and, and the words we choose really matter and I've, I've believed that and thought that for a really long time but just this last year really started exploring it on purpose in terms of communication what does it mean how do we do it better and I are I know that there's light years of improvement that I personally have to make with respect to communication and that's one of the reasons I'm interested in studying it and learning and getting to know more about it so Still sharing the supersize your business idiom every day and the uh, We're doing our annual challenge is to get to know ourselves better to get to know what's what's most important to us Through uh, a little journal book called do one thing every day that centers you and today was day 244 And it's about the good life and what is our good life inspired by what's well, inspired by love and it's guided by knowledge so that's a two-part saying you say that we'll be exploring today and tomorrow and sharing you know how did love inspire me today how did love inspire me to live a better life today how did love inspire me to create the life I want today things like that we share with one another and our supersize your business idiom today was when one door closes another door opens so I say close the door close the door because nothing happens until uh, a change or a challenge is upon us and we need to make a decision make a choice nothing happens until we choose or make a decision and just the choosing doesn't make anything happen it's we make a, a choice or a decision and then we have to follow that up with action that supports that decision or that choice so if we decide we're going to grow and build and supersize our business 
we we can decide that over and over again every day but if we're not doing anything or taking any action or any steps to make that happen guess what our business is going to stay the exact same way it's always been if our relationship if we want to change our relationship because it's not serving us it's actually harming us in any way shape or form nothing is going to happen until we make a decision to change that relationship well some people make a decision that they're just going to cheat and they're going to have someone on the side they don't close the door on their current relationship before they start another one it's a whole lot of that that goes on in the world obviously if you can tell by the tone of my voice i don't agree with that behavior i say close the door then go find your next person and that that's a nice clean break and a, a cleaner cut uh, but if, again if we all choose and we all do what we think is best for us at any given moment and some people don't feel like they're strong enough to do that they feel like they have to always have someone that is with them i don't i don't get that I, i'm a i not a lone wolf but i am perfectly content being responsible for myself and doing things on my own uh, so how about you how how do you feel about the idiom and the expression when one door closes another door opens i think we all got practice with this in 2020 and we're continuing to practice it in 2021 um, what are we going to accept and tolerate and what are we going to say no to what are we going to what paths are we going to choose to make our life go the direction we want it to go not what other people try to dictate the direction our life should go in their opinion because it doesn't matter what other people think it matters what you think it matters what i think and it matters what we want to create in our lives so get up and go challenge done we'll take the month of september off uh some months i do something every day to kind of keep my flow and momentum going september i've got other projects that i'm working on so i'm i'm actually going to take the month off from my challenge or sharing something every day uh, like some wisdom or something positive I'm kind of doing that through the supersize your business challenge I was going to continue to do when I looked up and to co inside with and to go along with the get up and go challenge I thought well I'm gonna pick an idiom or, or that means or has something to do with changes or challenges or setbacks or obstacles or or whatever you call them problems and I'm going to do that as the idiom every day for supersize your business and that works pretty well I think for going through the month of August with the get up and go challenge simultaneously just reinforce thinking and ideas about changes and challenges and looking for the positives in them and using the soap framework to, to manage that and install it in our subconscious so it becomes as easy as breathing but I realized as I was going into September I, I originally thought well maybe I'll just keep going because when I looked up idioms on that topic I got you know probably 80 which is way more than just one month's worth and so I picked and chose as I went through the challenge and did 31 of them and as I looked at the list yesterday all that was left are what I consider really down or really negative ways of looking at things and I was like no I don't want to spend the month of September looking at negative idioms and flip switching flipping them around so that they're positive so we see the upside of the coin not the downside of the coin so I decided I'm gonna seek out and find positive optimistic idioms for the month of September now my first search only gave me 10 or I think 10 and I'm like all right so I can find 20,000 idioms that are negative and 5,000 because there's 25,000 idioms in English 5,000 that that are maybe positive so it still gives me plenty to choose from but my whole I, I laugh because when I look up something negative or that has a negative connotation I get tons of results when I look up something positive I get you know a tenth of those results maybe it's just uh, it's really interesting the same is true in our vocabulary if you've ever looked at our vocabulary and our way of describing things when you look at emotions just look at emotions uh, for example you will get like a a one to four ratio of positive think sounding terms to negative if you go through the dictionary same thing why do we have so many ways of describing things that are negative well I like to think of it from the positive perspective of if we have more ways of describing something negative then some feel worse or stronger to us and more negative than others and if we're just reaching for a less negative a less strong feeling negative term that is moving us in the right direction 
I think it would be probably better for the universe if we had a lot more positive words and positive outlooks and positive ways of describing things because we'd be, we'd be focusing on those aspects of our life than negative. But, you know, the world has created this for this time period for a reason. I'm not even going to pretend I, I know the absolute reason for that. But I think because negativity is used to drive people's behavior pain and suffering is used to drive people's choices and behavior and decisions and so uh, since it's a powerful motivator for human beings other people like to use it to push other people's buttons and to control things so when one door opens another door closes month of september we will we'll focus on po what i consider positive idioms now i might share one that you might consider negative you might think that when one door closes another door opens is a negative because you're focusing on the front end the loss the letting go of the closing the door versus just the transition and the transformation to something else another opportunity i like to look at hey this happened what's up this happened what's next this happened what are we going to do about it was i always that way heck no i remember decades of my life that i was pushing against change that i was fighting change that i was wanting things to be the status quo that I wanted to control things and that didn't work out very well for me it actually led to a very stressful very uh, unfulfilled very sad portion of my life and it should have been the best time of my life and I was missing out on it because I was so stressed out on uh, other things that really weren't even of the highest priority to me they were important to other people but I was adopting other people's ideas of what I should do not really listening to the voice in my own head and my gut and my heart that was screaming you are going down the wrong road and it wasn't until i had a massive health challenge that i realized that it was imperative that i changed my road that i changed the way i was thinking that i changed what i was doing that i changed a whole lot of things in my life and uh, ever since then life has gone a lot more peacefully a lot less stressfully and a lot more in the direction that I wanted it to go. I only wish I had, you know, discovered my own personal power sooner is, I guess, if I have any regrets in life, it's that, you know, we do the best we can with what we've got at the time. You know, we always wish, or I think most people wish, I always wish I would have known more when I was a mom and that I would have been a better mom. Now, my kids think I was a good mom, but I think back on the mistakes I made and they're not huge life changing, life threatening mistakes, but you know, maybe I, I would have said things differently or handled different situations differently, uh, you know, and disappointments in the kid's life. Maybe I would have handled those better um, if I didn't have my own junk going on. So lessons learned, life lessons learned, and hopefully we're all continuously improving, learning, and growing all the time. So I'm off on a tangent. Positive September, supersize your business, idioms. Uh, the get up and go challenge we're gonna keep not get up and go get up and go is done for the month we'll pick that up again in October I'll take a month off then we'll do October probably skip November and then do it again in December I want to finish a year off doing let's see February April August we'll do it five times again this year we did it five times last year we did it six times last year and then 630 day plus and then there were a few shorter ones in there as well but so let's say I want to do it at least five times this year as well just because it feels like the right way to give back to, to share something that I know can absolutely positively impact people's lives if they so choose you know people ask me often well why do you do 30 days you know you could do a five-day challenge and then sell people into a 30-day program and I'm like cuz I don't wanna I want to use this as my way to help and make the world a better place and give back to people I don't want to charge people to do something for their life that they should and could probably be doing already they just don't know they could so if I can provide a simple way of doing this to make it as easy as breathing for people to deal with challenges and changes I feel like I owe it to the world that I, I need to do that so what is it that you need to do what is it that what doors is, is it that you need to close in order to open up another door so that you can show up and be who you really are up until my sudden cardiac arrest I had a sudden cardiac arrest in 2010 up until that point and it's almost a clear delineation in my life and and in the sand if I look at my lifeline exercise uh, I was and I'm still the same person you know I'm still always been the same person but what showed up 
of me up until 2010 versus after 2010, how I show up and who I am is 100% absolutely me. You might not like it. You might not agree with it. You might think I'm crazy and that what I say is just all off in la-la land. Uh, but it's, it's the things I believe in. And just like everybody else, I get to express my opinion. I get to share the things I believe in to attract the people that, that are like me or that agree or want to create the life that they want and want to be themselves doing it. Or the people that want to continue to pretend and wear the masks and the ego and the everything else that goes along with it and live the life that they think other people think they should live instead of living their own life. Huh. That's, that's a clear delineation of, of who I was before and what percentage of me showed up in different environments and different situations versus now it's just me. And sometimes I'll say something that will irritate people Sometimes I'll say something that people agree with. It doesn't really matter. It's just me saying what things mean to me. It's up to you to decide what things mean to you. All right. Go out. Have an awesome day. If I can help you in any way, ask. Otherwise, I am going forward on some projects that I've been neglecting last month due to the Get Up and Go Challenge and hanging out with my amazing little granddaughter who started school this week. And I really, really miss her. I miss her energy. I miss her light. I miss her love. And... Uh, it's still there, it's just directed towards school and um, I hope she thoroughly enjoys it and that she gets everything she can possibly get out of her education. Uh, nowadays, and always, it's always been that way, we get out of things what we put into them. So I hope that she puts her, herself into it and she gets in return the things that help to grow and nurture and make her a great little human being. All right, have an awesome day. I will be with you tomorrow.